Trump ego versus Trump boogeyman. That's the I-State debate that I'm going to have with myself. And you, the audience, you can participate through comments down below. My name is Paul Gordon, and I am with iState.tv, and I am going to be discussing Trump ego versus Trump boogeyman. There are two camps that are, well, I won't even say emerging. They've been there for a while. I'm going to call them the Trump ego camp and the Trump boogeyman camp. And, I, and I'm going to tell you, I'm not in either camp, but I have a lot of concerns about the folks who are spending a whole lot of time in either camp. And I'm, I'm going to get to that. I'm going to get to that right now. So I was thinking about the whole border thing that's going on with children being separated from their parents. And Time Magazine had their cover recently where they showed Donald Trump looming rather dangerously over this little girl in, in holy terror and whipping up, I'm sure, whipping up a lot of people to a frenzy. And uh, as the story begins to emerge, what you discover is there's a lot more behind that story than meets the eye. Now, I really, I don't know who took the photograph, but I'd be willing to bet that whoever took the photograph knew what was going on. Maybe they didn't, but I strongly suspect that they knew what was going on. And I strongly suspect that the people who pushed this story for the particular narrative that they pushed knew what was going on as well. But they had an agenda. And the agenda was to whip you into a frenzy, to make you hate Donald Trump. This is the Trump boogeyman camp. So you see this picture, this holy terror mother of God, Donald Trump, looming over this poor little innocent girl. And man, that's, uh, that's Edward Bernays in action, man. If you don't know who he is, look him up. He is the, the I'm going to just say, he is the father of, of modern advertising or propaganda, whatever you might, might want to uh, call it. Before Bernays, most advertising was more or less, not completely, but more or less directed towards pitching some sort of logical reason why you should like this product or that product. And he pretty much showed that, no, no, no. All that matters is emotions. All that matters is fire, passion, hatred, love, whatever the case might be. And here you have an image that actually did both. It manifest both hatred and love. It, 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 it pulled at both of those heartstrings, yet you felt the love for that little girl. All the horrors, all that little girl, that poor little girl, and the hatred for the evil boogeyman who's separating her from her mother. And then you find out that there's more to the story, that in fact, the little girl... Well, as I understand it now, the little girl was, first off, was not separated from her mother. Nope. Not at all. Little girl came from Honduras, and uh, the mother essentially kidnapped the little girl, or took her at the very least. I, I'd call it a kidnapping. You might not. I'd call it a freaking kidnapping. She took the little girl without the father's consent. She took the little girl. She left her husband behind. She left her other kids behind. And she took off with this little girl. If there's any separation from families, this woman did it. This woman should be the evil one looming over that little girl in the time, uh, the, the, the time cover. Now you hear this. And you might be thinking at this point, well, dude, you must be in the Trump ego camp. And if you are in the Trump ego camp and you started listening to this video, then you'd be thinking, oh, he's one of us. No, I'm not. I'm not at all. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm not here specifically to talk about what's going on, whether you should be in the Trump 
ego camp or the Trump boogeyman camp. Rather, I'm here to talk about those of us looking from the outside who are already in neither camp. I'm I I don't I don't particularly hate Donald Trump. No, I'm going to say it. I don't. I don't particularly hate Donald Trump. Do I like Donald Trump? No, I don't particularly like Donald Trump. And when I when I say that, when I say I don't particularly hate Donald Trump, I, w- I want to put a context to it. And 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 really the source of my frustration, how I come how I came to create this video in the first place, and that is this. I see you out there. I see your moral fucking outrage. Your indig fucking nation. I especially am talking to those of you that know that both camps are fucking bullshit. Talking to both you fuckers. Well, the ones outside. I'm not talking to both you fuckers. I'm talking to one set of fuckers. I'm talking to the people outside of both of those fucking camps who are participating in the moral outrage. The cries of indignation. They they see something coming out of... It's coming out of fucking MSM. It's coming out of CBS News. It's coming out of Time. It's coming out of Newsweek. It's coming out of ABC News. It's coming out of NBC. NBC. Hell, it's fucking coming out of Fox. And you see it? And you, you whip that shit out there, man. You throw it up on your fucking Facebook page and you put up your moral fucking outrage. How dare he? He's a fucking Nazi. Has he no decency? Has he no morality? These are the worst of the worst catas- catastrophic evil times. Donald Trump is literally fucking Hitler. That's what I see. From the people who aren't in either camp. Who should fucking know better. Who should know what's going on. Donald Trump is the president of the United States of America. And the United States of America is a coercive enterprise. It exists. And when I say it, I mean the 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 network of people that hide behind that label. That, that, that protects them from accountability. The United States of America label protects this, this small group of people from accountability. That group of people that make their living, that derive their power from the mythology that is the United fucking States of America. These fuckers know what they're doing. And... You're seeing, I believe, I, I won't say 100% that I know exactly what's going on, but I strongly suspect that what you're seeing is uh, you're seeing a bit of a war. There's a, there's a little bit of a civil war going on inside, inside the belly of the beast, within the belly. Don't get me wrong. The belly of the beast is it's settling in amongst itself, but to some degree, you on the outside, you idiots on the outside have a part to play. You're the, the unwitting pawns, the unwitting trolls, whatever, uh, that, that could potentially tilt the balance of power towards one particular camp within the belly of the beast and another particular camp within the belly of the beast. But both fucking camps want to seriously fuck you over, want to preserve the horror, the, the grind you to fucking dust system that is the United States of America. And I'm not picking on you, the United States of America. You know, your course of enterprise. I'm not picking on you, man. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying you're the worst of the worst. Maybe you are. I don't know. I'm, I'm, <laughs> if I lived in Canada, I'd say the same fucking thing about Canada. Hell, if I lived in Honduras, I'd say the same fucking thing about Honduras. But it just so happens that right now in the United States of America, the course of enterprise, they have a lot more power than a lot of other nation states. So when they fuck shit up, they hurt a lot more people. That's it. You're, 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 you're not any less morally evil or morally or, or any more morally good than any other coercive enterprise. You just happen to have more power. So when you do shit, you fuck more people up. That's it. These, these folks that are vying for power, on one hand, you have the Trump ego. 
which represents, it doesn't represent an ideology. The ideology has been invented to whip together a coalition that will possibly potentially help nudge to victory for this particular camp within the belly of the beast that whether whether they're I think that it's a, a usurper camp that it's a it's it's a, it's a group of families that uh, they were not part of the power inner 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 circle they were part of the inner circle maybe but not the inner 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 circle and now they want to be the inner 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 circle so it's like an out it's a, it's a it's a it's one it's a slightly outer part of the circle that now wants to be inside the circle. So the Trump ego camp has whipped together an ideology that they believe will help them garner support from certain segments of society that this particular type of ideology would resonate with. You know, what's what what's what's happening here? On one side you have the Trump ego camp. Hey, you white people, man, you're being oppressed, man. All these uh all these people on the other side are talking about white guilt and white privilege and, and cis people, you know, heterosexual people and uh Christians, you know. Oh you know, you're, you're you're like all these people are saying like if you're white and you're Christian and you're male and you're heterosexual, you're bad. Well, come to us. We will take care of you. Come to us, you downtrodden. Come to us, you beaten, you poor, you humbled. We will protect you from your oppressors. By the way, the same people that are calling you to them are the very fuckers that helped oppress you in the first place. And I can flip that around. Yeah, the, the, the Trump boogeyman people, they, they don't have a, they, they're, there's no fucking ideology there that, that the inner circle of the, 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 within the belly of the beast really fucking believes. The, the ideology that's being cast out there is the one that they believe will put together their fucking coalition that might tilt the balance of power towards them. And, and you, you who are on the outside of, of those two fucking camps, on the one side, the Trump ego people, on the other side, the Trump boogeyman people, you should fucking know better. When you see the shit that comes out, of, of national media, some of which, and, and I will say that the Trump ego people, they, they have a decided disadvantage at the, at, the, at the national traditional media level. At the national traditional media level, they are decidedly outnumbered. This is clear advantage for the Trump boogeyman people. But, but they have their own media outlets. They have their, 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 their what the heck, uh, <laughs> their Stephen Crowders and their, they're Ben, whatever the heck his name is, uh, Daily Daily Voice or whatever the hell it is called. <laughs> I don't know why I'm drawing a blank on that dude. You know, the fast-talking dude that wins all the debates against the liberals. Ooh, he shuts down a liberal. Shapiro, Ben Shapiro. <laughs> that guy. They got they got their people. They got they got their their media. It's just not nearly as powerful and effective. As 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 what the Trump boogeyman people put out, I think these folks they're not putting out stuff. Now, don't get me wrong, all the all the little you know the little micro players, the little the tiny little people you know they they may very well be putting stories out that they really believe in, and you know they're 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 looking and they're they're being whipped to a frenzy. Whether they're being whipped to a frenzy to believe that uh, uh, that the progressives are going to destroy everyone and enslave us all, or whether they believe that Trump is literally Hitler and he's going to lock everybody up and it's the end of the world and the worst of the worst catastrophes because of this, they're all finding reasons to more and more put aside civility, put aside uh, any any type of journalistic integrity, both sides. And, and you see Sarah Sanders, Sarah Huckabee Sanders, she went to a, a restaurant recently and the restaurant just told her that, that she can't eat there anymore. This is actually, that when I heard that, that's the thing that really triggered me to make this story. I'm not defending Sarah Huckabee Sanders, but I'm going to, I'd be willing to bet, I would, I, I would be willing to bet a fair amount of money that the people who sent her away because of their fucking moral indignation. I bet you they support Barack fucking Hussein fucking Obama. Who's every bit the fucking idiot troll that Trump is. I mean, the only difference between Trump 
and the other presidents is that Trump is a rude, blathering idiot when he talks. And he's the type of rude, blathering idiot that people, I guess, people love to hear. <coughs> well, at least a, a certain segment of people love to hear. So uh, you know this. You know the kabuki theater shit that's going on. And yet you're sharing this shit. This absolute shit. You're not going to fucking stop it. You're not going to stop what's going on. You're not going to protect one fucking child with your posts. Well, no, I won't say that. Maybe there's one one child. Maybe you could do the starfish thing. Well, I can't protect them all, but I save this one. Maybe. I don't know. Even at that, it's highly, highly doubtful. Highly doubtful that you're going to protect one single fucking child with your post. And what you're sharing, you don't even know. There's, there's very little way for you to actually know whether you're sharing something that's actually truthful or you're just aiding someone who means to hurt you every bit as much as Trump does. You know who's waiting in the wings if the Trump administration fails? If the if the if the Republicans fail, who's fucking waiting in the wings? The fucking Democrats. You think life is going to be better under the Democrats? You think you're going to be freer under the fucking Democrats? Really? You're 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 basically it's it's almost as if uh, Dracula and Frankenstein's monster showed up. And this is like the, I'm going to say it's the evil, totally evil Frankenstein's monster version, not the misunderstood Frankenstein's monster, the totally evil Frankenstein's monster and the totally evil Dracula <laughs> shows up and, uh, who are you going to call? Who are you, who are you going to, who are you going to fight for Dracula or the evil fucking Frankenstein's monster? Man, I, I'm not fighting for either one of these fuckheads. I'm, I'm not, I am not going to contribute knowingly, going to contribute to help either side in this bloodthirsty fucking debate for this, this bloodthirsty struggle for power within the belly of the beast. That's all you are fucking seeing is a struggle for power within the belly of the beast. One side thinks, well, you know. We can manage our human cattle better this way. And the other side says, no, no, fuck that. We can manage our human cattle better this way. And, and, and not too coincidentally, the way that one side wants to manage the human cattle they imagine will empower them more. And the way the other side wants to, um, to, um, uh, wants to uh, manage human cattle, they imagine that will empower them. What a coincidence. So stop it. Just, just give it up. There, there's, it's, you, you, you can make general declarations. Do, do I support families being torn apart at the border? No. Do I believe that it's been going on for decades, maybe longer? Who knows? Yeah, absolutely. There's so many horrible things that the government does. How, you know, what, what, is, it, is it worse that the government rips apart a few families at the border? Or is it worse that the government kills people with bombs in another country? Which is it? Is it worse that, that, that the, the government uses manipulation tools from, from the moment that you enter the public school to condition you to willingly give up your life to essentially empower the little inner circles within the belly of the beast? To grind down millions and millions upon people? To, to cut people off in the millions from fulfilling lives that 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 they may that that in all likelihood they would have uh, m much more better much better enjoyed. I mean, what's what's worse? Where where where's 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 the ultimate hell that we're dealing with? The ultimate hell that we're dealing with isn't really the inner circle at all. Either side inner circle. It's your fucking neighbors. They're your fucking hell. Because it's your neighbors, whether they're whether they're in the Trump ego camp 
or whether they're in the Trump boogeyman camp, it's your damn neighbors that are going to demand that you be locked up if you violate one of their moral codes that they imagine the state is empowered to enforce, whether it's drug laws or hate speech laws, or whatever the case might be. Those, that, that's your real fucking hell. And, and if, if you are outside of the Trump ego camp, if you are outside the Trump boogeyman camp, what I want to say to you is the best way, which may seem like the hardest, but the best way to actually save more, more people at the border, to stop more people from being bombed in other countries, to... To stop more people from being conditioned to sacrifice their lives in service to the inner circle within the belly of the beast while imagining that they're fighting for someone's freedom. The best way is to empower yourself to, to be able to say no in more effective ways, more and more, to the course of enterprise. I'm not talking about taking up arms. I'm talking about being self-reliant. I'm talking about being self-sustaining. And I'm talking about networking with people doing the same. And 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 lead and showing your neighbors what you're doing. Because one of the biggest reasons that your neighbors still imagine that they they want to go ahead and call the cops on you if you if you violate a hate crime or if you are a hate speech or if you if you happen to smoke a drug or whatever the case might be is because they're afraid. They're afraid that without Big Daddy, Big Mama, whatever the case might be, that 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 they'll they won't be able to take care of themselves. They're conditioned to believe that they need daddy. They need mommy. And if you could show them right next door to them that, hey, look, man, I'm doing I'm doing just fine without daddy and without mommy. Then then they'll be inclined to join you. So in closing, just just stop it. Just stop sharing their shit. Just say fucking no to them. Whether whether it's the Trump boogeyman or the Trump ego people and their little propaganda crap that they're putting out, just say no. I'm telling you, it's all a distraction. It's it's a big mind fuck distraction. And it's intended. It's 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 intended for another a number of things. But one of the things that it's absolutely intended to do is to target people like you and people like me. To to be to be drawn into the vortex of the drama and to be filled with fear, to be paralyzed with fear and anguish and agony. And and to imagine that we're fighting a Leviathan that's all knowing and all seeing and we're hopeless and helpless to do anything about it. And so we scream and we cry and we 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 rant our indignations whether whether we tend to rant our indignations against the vile disgusting things that the Trump boogeyman crowd does or the vile and disgusting things that the Trump ego crowd does. And meanwhile, we spend our time our effort and our energy reading stories, sharing stories instead of growing a fucking garden, <laughs> learning how to build a net mesh network right where you live with people willing to participate. Uh, learn crypto <laughs> or cryptocurrencies. There's many types of cryptocurrencies out there. It's not all Bitcoin. And hey, if you're looking at cryptocurrency as an investment to make money, that's not the fucking point. Cryptocurrency as a tool to enable like-minded people to share value with one another outside the system. That's what I'm looking for in cryptocurrency, not investing so I could get rich. And they and they I don't want you to think about these things. It's one of the reasons why I'm working on my other project, which is actually my main project, iState.tv. This this is my hobby now. This is like I I this is I, 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 I still want to talk about these things sometimes. I just don't want to talk about them all that much anymore. So I'm doing Futuric. 
which is focused on on technology, on science, on practice, uh, learning what people are doing, and and so many people they're doing things. They're not even they're not anarchists. They're not like rejecting the state. They're they just they just want to be left alone. <laughs> they're not even thinking about such things. And these technologies that are emerging and these scientific discoveries that are emerging, they're not anti-state. They're not ideological. They're not anti-Trump. They're not pro-Trump. They just are. And they're tools that we can use to do the most effective thing, which is to, to empower ourselves. By ourselves, I mean anyone who has decided that they're, in the beginning at least, anyone who has decided fundamentally that they're fed up, that, that they, 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 they cannot, whether, whether, it's, uh, whether you, it's your moral code or your, you, you know, some, some, you, you recognize that your preferences do not align with the course of enterprise, whatever the case might be, you've come to a fundamental decision, which is I cannot condone, endorse, represent, or participate in the course of enterprise. And then, after after us, will come the the non ideological, the folks that just see, hey, hey, shit's working. Let's try this. That looks good, because these coercive enterprises, dudes, they're they're hemorrhaging. There's no quick fix for them right now. They're going to need to take further and further control over people's lives. They're going to need to tax regulate ordinate zone all these things they're going to need more and more and more and more and more it is a hole that they can never fill and as they like a vice they 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 clamp down on the lives of their little human cattle their little human cattle are going to more and more, not through ideological reasons for practical reasons they're going to want to figure out a way to get around it I always like to bring up this example, and I'll bring this up in closing. And this is the Soviet Union. When the Soviet Union collapsed, I remember uh, it was that summer. I don't know. Was it 90, 1990, 91? I always get those years mixed up. Whatever it was. that I remember them predicting it's going to be a tough, tough winter for the Russians. I don't. They're, they're like, wow, it's really, really like, are they even going to make it through the winter? How many people are going to tie? And, you know, the, the catastrophic collapse and the doom and gloom that everyone was predicting, it didn't happen. And you know why it didn't happen? Because because they had a rather healthy, I call it a liberty market. You call it a black market. I call black markets liberty markets. They had a rather healthy liberty market. This is a country where you could be killed for participating in the liberty market. Now, don't get me wrong. You could be killed for participating in the American black in the American liberty market as well. But they're they're not going to do. It's not so overt, and they're not going to do it as quickly as as they would have under the Soviet Union. The Soviet Union, you might be shot right where you stand. <laughs> in America, you know, they'll send you a bill. <laughs> and and if you don't pay the bill, they'll send you another bill. If you don't pay that bill, they'll send you another bill. If you don't pay that bill, then somebody will show up at your door and say, hey, we're selling your shit. You didn't pay your shit. No, you ain't. Oh, okay. You're not going to let us sell your shit? Okay, now, now we're going to call the guns. Or some variation thereof. Eventually, it will come to guns. It'll come to the use of uh, the the threat and use of lethal force, un unless, of course, you surrender. But at the end of that is death, is the promise of death, <laughs> an execution for daring to participate in the liberty market. Yes, in America, same as in Russia. It's just that in the Soviet Union, it was it was it was much easier for you to get killed in the Soviet Union for participating in the in the liberty market. And yet, despite that, they had a vibrant liberty market. And so they didn't collapse. And there's a vibrant liberty market in America, and, and, and it can become more and more vibrant. It's like uh, over in the EU, they're, they're, they, they, they passed another major hurdle, the so-called uh, Article 13, the, the mean kill bill. And... I'm kind of mixed. On one hand, I'm like, oh, man, they can't pass this. This is terrible. On the other hand, I'm kind of hoping they do. I mean, I, I'm, I don't, I don't, I'm not for it in any way, shape, or form. I'm not for IP at all. 
I don't support any kind of IP. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, like, if, if, if you want to call uh, representing yourself as the creator of something that you didn't, if that's IP, okay, that form of IP may be, you know, I call that fraud. If you misrepresent yourself uh, or, or you put somebody's name on something that they didn't endorse, I don't support that. But outside of that, I don't support IP. Uh, but I kind of think, man, maybe it might be a good thing that the EU did this because this is the, the, their, their, their efforts to try to control what they think they can control. I, I don't, I, I think it's going to be very much more costly than they can imagine. And it's going to hurt a lot of people. It's going to hurt a lot of businesses. And I think it's going to help create a pretty, ra a pretty vibrant Liberty market. So I'm kind of like, yeah, maybe I kind of hope it passes. But if, 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 if we don't have something, if they keep pushing, eventually they're going to collapse. And if, if they keep pushing and they eventually collapse and there is nothing for people to go to as an alternative, we're just going to see this whole thing get rebooted and start all over again. So it, 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 it wounds me that, that people are being separated at the border. It's terrifying that people are being killed in the middle of the night because a bomb dropped through their house ceiling. I can't save them. I can't save that family crying crossing the border right now. And I, I, I can't save. I mean, don't get me wrong. If, if I happen to be in a unique situation where I could save one person, hell, I'll do it. But, I mean, outside of that, I can't. The best that I can do is is prepare myself and help others to do the same and network with others doing the same. And I guess I guess this story is over. And and the conclusion is this is there's no debate. It's it's between one fucked hard and another. And uh I'm not gonna participate anymore. And I hope, I implore, if you're watching this, I implore you to not participate either. So my name is Paul Gordon with iState.tv, and this has been iState Debate, Trump Ego versus Trump Boogeyman. And if you watch the whole video, and by some chance you actually like the video, whether you just like to laugh at the video, or you like what I said, or whatever subscribe and hit the bell get the notifications for uh when i do videos on icetake.tv they're just going to be a regular video so they'll be whenever whenever i feel like it but if you really want to start seeing regular content which should be starting about july 4th or so go to futuric.tv f-u-t-u-r-e-q future q if you will dot tv and uh Look for stories about hope and opportunity instead of instead of politiporn.